This isn't just exploration, this is human obsession. Let's rewind to 1960. Two crazy explorers, Jacques Carr and Don Walsh, crammed into a steel ball called Trieste. They dropped 10,916 meters into the Mariana Trench, five hours down, 20 minutes on the bottom. They saw a flat plain, a few fish, and proved we could survive. But the tech? Barely there. They were one crack away from death. Fast forward to 2012. James Cameron, yes, Titanic James Cameron, went solo. His deep sea challenger hit 10,898 meters. He stayed three hours, filmed in 3D, and said it was like landing on the moon. Desolate, alien, haunting. But the real game changer came in 2019 with Victor Vescovo. His mission was pure madness. Dramatic reconstruction, sub dives, lights pierce the dark. He hit every major trench in one year, Mariana, Puerto Rico, Tonga, you name it. Cost, $100 million. Survival probability, nearly zero. Each dive pushed the limits. Titanium hulls, foam floats, lights brighter than a stadium. But the risk was real. In 2023, the Titan sub imploded at half this depth. Five souls gone in a blink. Vescovo's team knew the stakes, but they kept going. Why? Because the ocean's X factor was calling and they were about to answer. Forget everything you know about life. Down here, evolution went rogue. First up, amphipods. Imagine shrimp on military grade steroids, up to 30 centimeters long, built to scavenge in the dark. Next, the Mariana snailfish. Transparent, no scales, built for apocalyptic pressures, 8,000 meters down, it just vibes. Here's a fact you'll tell your friends. The Mariana snailfish can survive pressure that would turn your bones to dust. But get this, it's got a chemical in its blood that could one day save human lives. Scientists are studying it for surgery drugs. Life from the abyss might save yours. Then, the real showstoppers, bioluminescent monsters. Glowing, pulsing, absolutely unreal. These creatures survive in conditions that would instantly kill any human. 1,000 atmospheres, near freezing temps, no light. How? They've got proteins that defy physics, antifreeze in their blood, bodies like jelly.